There's a lot of stuff going on here with Lenovo at CES 2017, and a lot of it is actually focused on VR as well. Let's take a closer look at what they've brought to the show. Lenovo is taking VR very seriously in 2017, and we've got a couple great examples, starting with this guy right here. This is the Lenovo Legion Y720 laptop. It is built to be a VR machine. It starts with a Core i5-7300. You can go up to an i7 if that's what you're feeling, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, up to a GTX 1060 graphics processor. But what's really cool is the entertainment hub. It basically plops you down into a virtual movie theater. So your content is sitting all the way in front of you. I am right now in a movie theater complete with cushy chairs and cup holders. And I can look around, I can take in the space, but more importantly, I can look at the screen and watch Ghostbusters in the way that it was kind of sort of meant to be seen. Now this works for games as well. I'm playing Deus Ex right now using my head uh, to aim, and I'm obviously doing a really, really bad job. It is a little weird playing a first person shooter like this uh, with an Xbox controller and using your head to aim at the same time because as muscle memory might dictate, you probably want to use that right stick to look around. So looking around constantly try and get a beat on your enemies, it takes a little while to get used to. Another really cool thing about the uh, Legion laptop is that it does have the dongle for an Xbox One controller built into it. It connects automatically and you're just sort of off to the races, which is really, really cool. Oh, and to round things out, Lenovo is going to make available this little wireless keyboard. They've done this kind of thing before. It's really not that new, but what is cool is it kind of takes a page out of the BlackBerry Passport's playbook. So you're able to use it uh, and swipe up and down through your content, use it as a touchpad while you're navigating the web, which is great, especially if you're the kind of person using a home theater PC. If you're using a PC to power your TV setup, uh, it's really, really handy to be able to use something like this without having to get up or use a traditional physical keyboard. This is coming in March of 2017. There's a lot more going on here at CES 2017, so stick with us as we explore, and thanks for watching.